Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books January 27th Patience Wins the Race Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Hebrews 12, 1 In our text, the Christian life is likened to a race. When I was a child, our family sometimes attended a village picnic where foot racing was part of the afternoon entertainment. The short races came first. Then the men lined up for the mile run. A large number usually entered the race, but it was surprising how few came in at the finish. It is a trait of human beings to start well and then give up in discouragement. Those who refuse to persevere are destined to failure. The prize comes at the end of the race. Society owes much to the few who possess the rare quality of patient endurance. The great inventions of this present age would never have been accomplished if men working quietly in machine shops, in offices, or in laboratories had not possessed infinite patience and tenacity of purpose. We have great admiration for John Glenn, the first American astronaut to circle the world in space. This triumph was not accomplished by chance, nor was it a stroke of luck. For months, even years, Glenn and his colleagues had been preparing for that great day, February 20th, 1962. Later, on his visit to Washington, he received high honors from the late President Kennedy and the applause and praise of the nation. At this time, Glenn paid tribute to all who had made the adventure possible. He said hundreds had contributed to this great achievement through patient experimentation and many days of hard toil. Some who have the ability to succeed are deflected from their purpose by side attractions. The Apostle Paul said, Ye did run well. Who did hinder you? Fascinating scenes along the way beckon us into bypaths, but we must keep our eyes on the goal if we would gain the prize. <laughs>